Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm out with Tony going after some shoal bass. He's got a couple Instagram accounts. What are they again? Fly Waters and 250 Dude. And he does a lot of shoal bass fishing up here, um, some fly fishing, some conventional. And we're going after shoal bass today. I already caught a couple. One of them, Tony totally put me on. It missed his fluke, and then I threw my worm up in there and caught him. So, should be a good day. It does seem like they're not crazy active. We might have to finesse the fish a little bit more today, but make sure to stay tuned because I think we're going to. Be catching some more. Ooh. Got a tiny one. It's a little spot. All right, first fish of the day. Let me not fall over here. I was getting some tiny pecks on my last cast. I thought it might have been a sunfish, but maybe it was this guy. I'm out here with Tony. He's Trying to put me on some fish and they don't seem super active this morning like i've thrown the chopo around a little bit only had one tiny hit on it but then again we haven't fished too much water yet so i'm happy to uh get the skunk out of the boat all right little tiny spot to start the day that same i've met him on a creek one time and he was very like oh Got him. Tony put me on this fish. He had, it missed his fluke. I think it's a sholey. Yeah, a little sholey. Not bad. Maybe a 14 inch or so. All right, y'all. Little sholey to start the day. I did get one tiny spot of bass earlier. This one was probably, it was like 12 and three quarters. Nothing too big, but it's nice getting the first sholey. Let him go here. There he goes. Oh, chopo fish. A little spotted bass. All right. Well, that's a good sign. Tiny fish on the chopo. I mean, he literally got hooked with almost three hooks. That's kind of wild, considering how dang small he is. Yeah, well, caught three fish today. Nothing too big. This one's by far the smallest. Oh, got him. Not that big, but a little shoaly. It's kind of tricky. It's always tricky when I'm like kayaking and you get one right at the top of a shoal. All right, another tiny shoal bass. Uh, this one's definitely smaller than the first one, but got that guy on the chopo. So I've caught a couple fish on the chopo, both of which are really tiny. But if fish are hitting the chopo, I'm definitely going to keep throwing it some and you know, depending on where we're fishing, I'll probably throw a worm or a helgramite to be a little more finesse too. We'll watch this guy swim off. There he is. Oh. Under that bush. He's not bad. It's like 14 inches maybe. Oh, actually like 15 maybe. Not bad. A lot better than the other ones I caught. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to land him. Oh yeah. Oop. All right, y'all. Decent little bass on the trick worm. I'd say he's around 14 and a half inches. He came right underneath that bush, kind of in the back of this pool, but. Yeah, another one on the trick worm. A lot of times I use a helgramite as finesse, but I've caught like three on the trick worm today, so I might try to stick with that some more. Anyway, let this guy go. Oh, wow, look at that. He's got a crawl up his mouth. Well, if y'all can see that, he's got a claw pincher in his throat. That's kind of funny from a uh, yeah, crawfish. Oh, yeah, Tony got a nice picture of it. I'll let this guy go. There's one. Oh man. Ugh. Pretty sure that was a fish. Out of the three, what I think might have been bites, I'm pretty sure at least one was a fish. That one felt the most like a fish. 
It looked like he was running with my worm. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. Ah. That one hit the chop though by that log. I gotta be careful. I have this. My spinning rod kind of. Oh, that's money cast. Come on, come back, fish. Oh, come on. Dude. That time it looked a little bigger. He just barely bumped it. There's one. Oh, right in the middle of the current. Finally got one. Wow. Well, I thought I had some bites out of this hole. And uh, maybe I did, I don't know. This guy came right out of the middle of the current. I honestly wasn't even really paying attention, but I did have a fish hit the choppa right by that tree a couple times. So I was trying to follow it up with this worm, but it's kind of hard for me to get it on the right spot up there. So we've, I've caught a handful of fish now, like I think this is number six, but you know, the size is not really there. The last one we caught wasn't too bad, but I'll let that guy go. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I bought this anchor wizard and when I bought it, there was a gap in the handle here and it is just not working properly. I don't think it's supposed to be up like this. It's supposed to be down like that and it keeps just bumping up and not working. And I spent a hundred bucks on this little crank for my anchor. I mean, it's supposed to be really handy, but when it doesn't work, that's frustrating. So I think I'm gonna have to contact the company and hopefully they'll make it right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> a gar was chasing it. That's what that spot, that's what, yeah, nah, it was a gar. Yeah. Oh, got him. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang, dude. The chopo came off. What? It's right here. Yeah, what in the world? That was the weirdest thing ever. Like, he fell into the net and then popped out. It was a little shoal bass. I mean, it probably would have been like, he was around the biggest one I caught earlier, like around 14. That is so weird. I don't know why the, the knot came untied, he came unhooked and fell in the boat and fell out all at the same time. That was kind of weird. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. It's actually good. Are you kidding? Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh. Oh my gosh. Chill. Dude. Ugh. Are you kidding me? I just kind of like wasn't even paying attention. Oh, I just got a shoal bass. He's at least like 17 inches probably. Dude, I just put in the water. That was like maybe my third or fourth or fifth cast. All right, I'm gonna weigh this fish real fast. He was uh, 18 and a half inches, which is a really good one for up here in the mountains. Uh, three pounds on the dot. All right, y'all. This was quite a surprise. I literally just put in was not expecting to get a big fish. I wasn't expecting to catch a fish until I got further down, but there happened to be this one really nice shoal bass right here. There might be a little background noise. There's some uh, kayak training going on, but that is a solid fish. It was three pounds and 18 and a half inches. Oh, there she goes. She's sitting under my kayak. Uh, maybe I could have brought her out to the deeper water to start with. But obviously, fish like to hide under something. There she is. Now we can watch her swim off. I don't even know if y'all can see it without the polarized lenses, but she might be going back to that tree over there. That tree is pretty shallow. Like, I mean, I was not expecting to catch fish under there, but obviously, you know, I have time. If I'm going down river, I might as well be making casts with a trapo, and I sure am glad that I was right then.
There's a brachus. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I broke that from casting, just barely hitting the side of my kayak. I think that was the first one I've caught on this 105. Um, I, I had two of them. The other one's really beat up because I've caught like over 30 on that one. And, oh well, I mean, it caught me a, one really big troll bass, so eh, maybe it was somewhat worth the money. Yeah, this one, like I said, has caught over 30. It's, uh, it's on its last leg, but it still spins and makes the noise, so I guess that's all that really matters. Oh, there's one. It seems decent. Uh, not as big as the last one, but it's a good one. Oh man, it's another Sholey. I think he's double hooked. Oh man, it's another good one. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Stop, please don't come off. I can't tell if he's still double hooked. I need a reel more. Oh. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Rose, chill, 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 chill. Oh my gosh, dude. It's another at least like 17 inch, I think. Are you kidding me? I don't know what is going on today. Oh, he just shook out. Okay, he might be 17. Yeah, the other one I said at first, so I said he was probably at least 17 and he was 18 and a half, so he was well above that. This one might actually be more like 17. Yeah, that's a good one. He's probably around 17. He's definitely over 16. He might be two pounds. Might as well throw this one on the scale. He might be like two and a quarter. He was 17 and a quarter inches. Two five, okay. Yep, pretty much two and a quarter. Dude, that is another solid fish. I mean, he was 17 and a quarter. I actually think this might be my second biggest shoal bass on the chopo after that one I just caught. I'm gonna try to release him before I talk more. Sometimes I hold him a lot longer than I need to. There he goes. But yeah, I mean, I've caught some really good largemouth on the chopper. I've caught some really good spotted bass. I guess before today, most of the shoal bass I have caught on the chopper weren't very big. I definitely have caught a 17 inch before today on the chopper. I could be forgetting a fish or two, but nonetheless, I think I do think that is the two biggest shoal bass I've caught on the chopper. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's right where I caught one last time. That's why I cast it there. He definitely wasn't very big. Probably gonna come back and throw the worm in there if it doesn't hit again. Oh my gosh, there's one right there. Smaller one, but it's in the current. Got this guy on the trick worm. I caught one just about this size last time. Like right around here. There's another small one. I mean, last time I came here, got on a handful of just small ones. So it's nice that I already got a couple of really good shoal bass today. I don't know what that thing is on his tail. I mean, this one's not that big. It's like 13 inches, but I'll take it. All right. Well, I'll take that on the uh, trick worm. Yeah, they love those ledges, dude. He went straight under there. I feel like a fish would... I feel like a shoaly would hide right under these rocks. Oh, oh, one's right there. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Dude, I... You cannot make this stuff up, dude. I did not... Oh my gosh. Y'all gonna think I saw that fish. I didn't see that fish. It just looks like a perfect spot for one to uh, hide. And that was a good one. That was... I mean, probably at least 16 inches. Oh, let me get a new worm on. I, I guess I need to have some worms in my pocket. There's a fish. Oh, it's, it's decent. It's pretty good. On the dang Helgramite. Oh my gosh, what is going on today? It's another good one. Get up in here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh. 
dude. Ah, dude. Okay, he's probably the third biggest of the day, but he's over 16, maybe 16 and a quarter, 16 and a half. I mean, man, I'm catching some solid ones today. This is a, probably about the size of the one that bit like right there on the uh, trick worm. All right, another solid fish. He was 16 and a half inches. I'm not gonna weigh him. He's probably a little less, or he's probably about two pounds, maybe a little more actually, but solid fish on the Helgramite. I mean, some days of fishing are definitely better than, than others. This camera says an hour and a half. So I've been out here an hour and a half, caught four shoal bass, three of which are really solid ones. Anyway, I'll let him go here. I almost caught another one before that one too. So aggressive just to uh, chill out right there. There he goes under the under the rock. Oh, oh my gosh, I scared him over there. Anyway, he'll yeah, he'll find his back his way back into the current. Oh my gosh. Next cast. Oh, he came off. You're kidding me. That was my next cast. I mean, probably took me a minute or two to talk about that fish, but that was my next guess. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Uh, the only reason I brought the choppo down here is because of this one log, which I know fish hide under. Like, I mean, in my opinion, the best Pass you can make on the river with a chopo is over a submerged log. The last time I was here, I had one hit right there that didn't hook. <laughs> That's why it just happened again. I know there's fish under that log. It's kind of hard though to get a finesse lure down there. There's a fish. I don't know how big he is. I don't think he's that big. I think he's pretty small. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm losing all tension on him. Hopefully, he didn't fall off. Oh, it's a little spot. Little spot of bass. Ah, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Well, I'm heading back. I didn't fish at those shoals for too long. The heat is definitely getting to me. It's pretty hot outside, but... And I've been out basically all day because I was fishing somewhere else earlier. All right, little spot of bass. He might be the smallest of the day. I mean, he's probably about 13 inches, which is what that uh, smallest shoal bass was. All right, y'all. Well, I'm just about back, paddling back, and... Today was great, dude. I, you know, like I said, I was fishing somewhere else this morning. I was not planning on coming here today. I just decided after fishing for not as long as I thought I would in the morning and, you know, catching some smaller fish. I decided to try this spot again that Tony took me to. Like, you know, really got to give a shout out to Tony. It was really nice last time taking me out here, uh, you know, giving me some pointers and showing me how he likes to fish and stuff. So shout out to him. His two Instagrams are two fishy dudes. I think that's going to be a, a podcast that he's starting that maybe you'll have me on. And then Fly Waters is another uh, Instagram account that he kind of manages that's about fly fishing if you enjoy fly fishing. So anyway, thank you to Tony for taking me out that other day. And today I had an even better day than last time. I think I caught maybe one less fish, but I, was, I wasn't out here near as long as we were last time and caught some quality fish today. You know, I've been holding off on posting that video because or like the first half of this video because it wasn't too exciting, didn't catch too many, and nothing was too big. But then today, came back out here, caught some big ones, so might as well just uh, combine the two videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram at Aaron's underscore outdoor. But anyway, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.